YouTube kick. My name is Trey. Welcome to What Kind of Change. Today we're going to start with Jill Scott and her anthem. Man, it is wild. Um, you're going to have to see how she tries to justify this. So let's go ahead and hop right into this. And Jill Scott, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm, I'm going to just be, I'm going to be straightforward with you. Why did my Twitter go to that? Hold on, guys. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. Okay. Be honest with y'all guys, I never really listened to Jill Scott like that. Not my cup of tea, but, you know, it is what it is. Let's get right into it. This is not the land of the free, but the home of the slave. First things first, I want to say is some people were saying like she, that she couldn't sing and it sounded awful. Come on now. Now, we're going to be critical of the thing, but we can't say, you know, she can't sing. Let's not, let's not be wild, you know what I'm saying? But let's read into what she actually had to say about this whole thing. Because when you hear that, what do you think? Uh, that sounded like you were saying that this is the home of the black people being a slave. You know, that's I mean, based off what I heard, and she even said that this land does not smile on you, colored child. And she said the blood that built this place. <laughs> but go ahead, let's go ahead and see what her uh, justification for this is. Miss Jill Scott. <clears throat> I'm not even gonna not even gonna see what everybody was saying. Everybody said they were heartbroken and stuff like that. But here we go with this. She says during a March concert in, during a March concert in Philadelphia, Scott told the crowd that she does not doesn't intend to divide people when she sings "Home of the Slave." When I say that, we are in a place that makes us slave to consumerism. It makes us slaves to social media, makes us slaves to lies that don't make it no kind of sense, she said. But we follow stories, but we follow stories like suckers, like slaves, to whatever kind of negativity that doesn't benefit us as a culture, as a people, as a culture, nor as a society. Now, um... Let's see that video again. I want to see it again. She said. <clears throat> By the blood in the streets. That this place doesn't smile. On you. Colored child. Now listen. She said it doesn't smile on the colored child. So that tells me that it sounds like you just said that this land doesn't 
color smile on black people or brown people. Um, and then you go on to say, who's, you said, on oh, you colored child, who's the blood, whose blood built this land? Does that sound like she's talking about a slave to consumerism, a slave to social media, a slave to anything that doesn't benefit us? She said, this land does not smile on you colored child who built this land. And then she said, this is not the home of the free, it's the home of the slave. I mean, it's not the land of the free, it's the home of the slave. And her justification was that her words, lies that don't make sense, but we follow we follow the stories like suckers, like slaves, to so whatever kind of negativity that doesn't benefit us. I'm talking about slaves. Social media makes us slaves to lies. Jill. Jill, sit down. Sit down. <clears throat> DJ? Jill. You tried to fool us. You wanted us to seem stupid. You call us suckers for listening to the social media. But truly, Jill, we're suckers for listening to you. You call us slaves to social media. We're slaves for listening to you. You flat out lied. You played us for a fool. You pretty much said us, once again, we're oppressed. Jill, how much money do you make a year? Jill, how much support have you had? Do you think all your support comes from blacks? Or do you think it comes from my diverse group of people? Brown, white, Latino and others. Jill, you are a slave to this mindset if you believe it's true. Don't play us for fools, Jill. Don't play us for fools. DJ, cut the music. Uh, <clears throat> Listen, uh, to be honest, like, man, I want to say this. It was not, she was not singing this at some uh, sports event. She was not singing that. She was singing this at a, she had sang this song before, but she was singing this song at a musical festival. And you know what this musical festival said? This music festival said they would never sing the national anthem again. They will only sing this version of it. First of all, the only person who can sing the version of it is the person who wrote it, which is Dale Scott. But you're trying to tell me this is the version you want to hear every time now? So every time I think about America, I'm going to think about the land of the slave. It's like, come on, man. Like, do you want people to just hate America? I mean, I just don't get it. Um, and I, I, I would never applaud this kind of stuff. Even if she was singing this at a musical festival for her own little thing, I'm sure she can just sing it. I'm, I'm cool. You know what? I'll take that back. I think she's allowed to sing the song. She can sing it if she's at a musical festival. I think she's allowed to sing the song. That's cool. That's cool. But what they said was they'll never sing the uh, national anthem ever again. So this musical festival is what it has told me from these people is that they like this version of the song and that they hate what America has done. I have a problem with that. You want to sing it however you want to sing it? Cool. But come on, Jill. Don't lie to us. That was this, that was divisive. That does continue to um, divide us as a country. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Y'all have a great day. And don't forget to drink some water. <sighs> a little ASMR for you guys. Bye. DJ, you were supposed to end the video right there. When I say bye, the video's supposed to end. And now I have to sit here and explain what I'm even saying right now. So now I have to repeat myself. <clears throat> Y'all have a good day. And don't forget to drink some water. Ah, a little ASMR for you guys. Bye.